Well, I'm out for another walk this morning. Um, after that beautiful weekend, it's pretty overcast today, but uh, it's quite good walking weather, to be perfectly honest. I'm starting off from the Yellow Bar Bridge in Devon Road, and I'll be walking through South Darrant, down by the river, and then uh, over the fields and dropping back down into Horton Kirby. So, um, yeah, let's crack on. Well, we're walking up Holmesdale Road, um, now approaching Malley's Place, which is uh, an old flour mill across the river. And then we'll be uh, going around the bend uphill and turning right into Shrubbery Road before we turn left into the fields. This is always a difficult bend when you're walking in the road. It's just as difficult when you're coming down in your car. Surprising how steep the climb is up Holmesdale. Well, we're now approaching the uh, junction, whereas if you turn left, you go into Roman Villa Road. Straight up is Holmesdale Hill, leading into St. Margaret's Road. But uh, we'll be turning right here into Shrubbery Road walking along halfway before we enter the fields. Well, I must admit, I much prefer the walk down Holmesdale Road rather than the walk up. It's fairly steep. Right, we're going to turn left shortly into the fields and then we'll be going straight up over the brow of the hill towards Gill's Farm. Well, there's our entry point to the fields on the left there. So now it's just a matter of following the path straight uphill and over the hill. Just taking in the views on the way. Well, the wind's picking up somewhat, so I hope you can hear me over it. Well, a bit of a contrast from the weekend where it was really sunny, very little wind. In fact, it got decidedly warm when I was out on a walk on Friday and Saturday. But uh, this wind's a bit cutting. They did forecast sunshine or sunny spells today, but I can't see it. Occasionally it's trying to break through the cloud, but cloud looks too thick still as long as it doesn't rain that's the main thing well 
Well, we can take our first uh, look back along the route that I've just come down. That's Shrubbery Road along there. Holmesdale Road that came up over there. And if you look straight ahead, there's the paper mill chimney. It's a bit hazy, but you can probably see the nurseries in the distance up on the top road. The sun is definitely trying to break through. I hope it does, because it's very, very hazy. and actually a little bit chilly at the moment. Well, we're heading for that clunk of trees you can see up on the top of the hill there. And then straight on. This is more or less straight all the way down to um, where you would turn left across through the farm where you've, you've actually got uh, public access, public right away through the farm. But we won't be doing that, we'll be turning right there and um, cutting across to the railway bridge, straight across onto uh, Rabbit's Road. I'm just approaching a, a marker post here. And if you turned right here, that will eventually lead you down to Rabbit's Road. Much further down on the South Darrant Fend, we want to be much further up. So onwards, uphill. Well, we're now approaching another way marker which you may be able to see on the right there on the little post. And again, if you can, we're going straight, but if you turn left at the marker, you can cut between two fields across the brow of the hill. And that will lead right down to the Gill Road Junction with St. Margaret's Road. That's a walk I did um, Saturday when I cut through the farm through a few fields. I came out in St Margaret's, cut through the fence at uh, the St Margaret's Road end of Gill Road and I walked across the brow of the hill here and down the path the way I've come up. Not where we're going today, we're going straight up the hill. As you can hear, it's pretty windy. There's the farm ahead now, where you can cut through into Gill Road. We'll be uh, turning right at that point, following the path down to the railway bridge. Hopefully getting out the wind a bit then. It's a very straight tree line ahead, that is. You can only imagine what that'll look like in about three or four months time, how lush those trees should look. All right, I think we'll just have a little pan back the way we came before we uh, carry on and turn right. Not many people out today. I'm not 
not surprised. It is a Monday, plus uh, it is pretty windy and it's, it's not too warm. It's completely different from the Friday and the Saturday and the Sunday we've just had. And obviously the children are still having homeschooling and a lot of people are actually at work. So uh, it's the 1st of March. So we've, uh, we're into another month and I'm really looking forward to the end of the month when, if all goes well, restrictions will lift slightly, which will allow me to travel a bit further afield for my walks and to do some videoing. All right, we're approaching bridge over the railway line now. We'll uh, stop there for a moment, have a, a little look down before we carry on across the fields to Rabbit's Road. There's the railway line that leads down to the Victorian Viaduct and then further on from that is uh, Farnham Road Railway Station which is our local railway station. This was dug out and this line laid in the mid-1800s so you can imagine the amount of work that went into completing this. Well, there in front is the, that's the first, well dog walker, that's the first person I've seen more or less since I uh, came into the fields. You can definitely say I'm social distancing. We're now approaching uh, Rabbit's Road, where we'll be going straight across. And very shortly we'll start getting views down over South Darren, the viaduct, the chimney, and um, Horton Kirby Church. Just wish this wind would drop a little bit. It's uh, quite fierce when you're walking across the middle of a field. watched my last video where I started off the walk from uh, Horton Kirby and I came up to Rabbit's Road I uh, made reference to this this point because what I did I walked up to these uh, trunks these tree trunks and then well as I'm facing now I turned right but I, as I was coming across I turned left and walked down Rabbit's Road so uh, I said I'd get out and continue the walk. But basically I've just done it in reverse. It's very peaceful. Once you get away from the roads it's absolutely wonderful. Nice and quiet. Obviously I've got the the wind to contend with today. We're starting to pick up a few of the views now towards Halton Kirby. Um, we'll see more once we get through the next kissing gate, which is just down there. And as I said before, it's very, very hazy today, hazy and windy. The sun's just behind the cloud trying to break through, but um, it's just not clearing. I think what I'll do, I'll get through this uh, gate and I'll stop for a, a quick drink.
Right, I'm going to stop for a quick drink. Another five minute rest. Well, the sun is breaking through or trying to break through still. Now with my luck, about sort of one o'clock, two o'clock this afternoon, it'll come blazing out. I do normally come out on my walks um, as early as I can in the morning. And it's obviously getting light much earlier in the morning now. But uh, unfortunately I had uh, some camera issues this morning. I had batteries to charge. And I was hoping this haze would, would clear, but it's not to be. Oh, the second person I've seen on my walk. Oh, through the next kissing gate. Before we enter the next field, I just thought I'd show you a view back on the path I've taken downhill and uphill. To the left, you've got uh, some horses in the field to, and south down to private estate. Keep panning round, you'll see uh, right through the middle of that pylon, paper mill chimney, and then the viaduct. There's a much better view of the viaduct. You can probably just see a bit of the railway line as well off the viaduct to the right. And then the uh, top section of the paper mill chimney. We're now approaching uh, Skinny Lane, so we go through this kissing gate, carry on across the road, and it's um, it's all downhill from here. Well, there's the gate I've just came through, and I've crossed over Skinny Lane. Now I'm just going to carry on straight down towards Horton Kirby. I've walked approximately three miles so far and I've seen, not bumped into, I've seen three people, one runner and two dog walkers. Obviously we've uh, kept our distance but we've had a chat, stroked the dogs and as I said earlier at the end of the month providing everything goes well with the uh, coronavirus results the rules have changed slightly and although they're sta saying stay at home they're also saying that you can travel it's all very confusing but what I make of that is that um, I will be able to go out in my car go a bit further and do my walks now in all fairness I've just said I've seen two three people four maximum on this walk and got nowhere near them. Um, I can't really think of a safer thing to be doing or form of exercise at the moment. But obviously it will be nice just to get 
a bit further afield. I'm sticking to Kent, but uh, I want to get some woodland walks in and especially now it's drying out a little bit. So uh, that's the future for a few weeks time. And I'm really looking forward to it. We're now in front of you, you can see part of the church, St Mary the Virgin Church. A few hop fields here. The hop fields across the road are now gone, unfortunately. Um, heard through the grapevine that a lease was up on the land, so it's all been churned over. I've got no idea what's what it's going to be. Well, I'm coming towards the end of my walk now. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's and the footage comes out okay. It's been quite windy and very very hazy but uh, you can't always have it perfect. It's still been a very, very enjoyable walk, nice and fresh. I'm gonna pick a bit of shopping up on the way home and um, that's me done for the day. So if you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. See you again shortly. Bye for now.